Hello there guys, Wayne here from Lunar's World. I hope you're well. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, it is a beautiful morning here in Sydney, Australia. We are checking out the Orbex uh, Cityscape, I think it's called, um, for Sydney. It looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to try it out. We are ready to go here. Um, and yeah, off we go. Ooh, a little bit blustery. We are in the, uh, what is this thing? The Evo, I'm not quite sure, VL3 Evolution. Anyway, it's a cool little thing. It's pretty fast. And got great visibility, so perfect for this kind of a flight. I mean, yeah, so in terms of the actual um, airfield, it's really, really nicely detailed. Really cool. And we're going to head towards the docks here. And then kind of fly over the dock area, check things out, and then over into Sydney proper. Check out the Opera House. And uh, yeah, a ton of other stuff. A little bit bumpy right now. Traffic at one o'clock. Coming into land. Okay, I'm not sure if we should climb. Let's try and climb, get out of this bumpy weather. Look at that for a sunset. Beautiful. I am using the preset, uh, pre uh, weather preset pro. So this is not live weather. So yeah, I just wanted to, I don't know, add some interest. Someone said, why don't you fly just in clear skies? That will give us the best view. I'm not sure that it does really. Uh, I like to see shadows, I like to see cloud, I like to, I like to see, I don't know. Like I said in the post, maybe it's because I'm from the UK. We don't get that many clear skies, so. I don't know, I just feel more comfortable somehow with clouds in the sky. It feels more realistic to me. It's really getting bumpy here. Let's try and let's climb up a little bit. Let's go to 2000 and see if that helps. Getting dizzy. I was experiencing this rocking from side to side in a previous video. I don't know, it's not very realistic, I have to say. All right, so there is the beautiful uh, Sydney skyline. So we're gonna come in off the harbor, the estuary, and then uh, check out the um, Sydney Opera House, the Sydney Harbour Bridge, of course, Sydney Tower. And uh, we'll also check out the night lighting towards the end of the video as well. So looking forward to that. But yeah, we are getting really blown off the coast here. Is that a race? It's like a racehorse. Is that a, maybe a Greyhound track? I'm not sure. Look at the way the light there is coming in on the city. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Maybe it's a good time to jump outside. Let's check out some drone shots here. Now, for some reason, Drone isn't working. That's really weird. Okay. Drone controller not working for some reason. I forgot to put the gear up. I forgot this had a gear. I thought it looked a bit weird.
All right, Sydney Opera House coming into view. Look at that. Wow. It does look amazing. Some traffic over there. Actually, it's kind of busy. All right, let's come off the throttle. Let's, let's descend here down into the harbour. Now, when I went on my uh, world cruise, uh, playing the piano, we actually um, we actually came into Sydney Harbour uh, something like five in the morning. It was an amazing experience. Um, sunset, or oh, sorry, sunrise, champagne on the deck of the boat as we came in, and I got the most incredible view, kind of coming in here. Actually, not a little bit darker than this, but not too far off with the sun coming in um, from this side. Beautiful view of the uh, Opera House. And we kind of went around this island here, came back and we docked somewhere here and then trotted off into the city. So yeah, it was amazing. We were there four days had a really, really fun night out in Sydney, one of the nights. Incredible. All right, there's Sydney Tower. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Maybe this is this kind of seems like maybe the I don't know the best scenery that Orbex have done so far. I'm really getting the sense of an incredible amount of detail here. I'm pretty sure this is where we docked actually, right here. I remember this. I remember walking down here and into the city. Very cool. All right, now we know we can't fly under the bridge, which is a bit of a shame. Let's see how well they've rendered the Opera House. It looks pretty damn impressive, I have to say. Wow. Yeah, that does look amazing. Oof. Oh, damn. Oh, and check out the flags on the bridge. Very cool. Oh, the bridge looks amazing too. Oh man, this is awesome. The detail is ridiculous. Wow. Sydney suburbs here, nice little yacht there. And this sim is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Quite sure about the turbulence effects, but there we go. Alright, let's slow us down. We'll have a good look in the city here. Suburbs looking good. Right, you'll have to forgive me about the landmarks. I know that we've got the uh, well, we've got traffic there live. That is, is it an icon? I think it looks like an icon. Anyway, whoa, look at that man, that is insane! Holy cow! Right, there's the Sydney Tower. I did go up that, and the view is incredible. Land Centre, railway station that ahead, the event, wow, the detail is really something. Okay. 
so sharp, so crisp. Absolutely beautiful. Performance is okay. Um, getting a few micro stutters, but on the whole, it's pretty smooth. Uh, the turbulence is a bit odd. This side to side, it doesn't seem to matter which direction I go in, which kind of concerns me. So it's like only acting on the, uh, the rudder or yaw, which is a bit odd. But my god, look at that. Woof. Unbelievable. Absolutely gorgeous. Jeez Louise. I can hardly believe my eyes. Right, so what I want to check out is the, uh, let's check it out in the middle of the day, just to give it a different kind of lighting atmosphere. This Sydney Harbour, uh, this is the Opera House from a different angle. God, it looks absolutely phenomenal. It's ridiculous. This is by far the best scenery Orbex have done. It's their absolute opus, although burnt in cars down there doesn't look so good, but never mind. I don't care. This stage, this is just phenomenal. Alright, let's stall ourselves at 1600 feet over Sydney, why not? It's the kind of crazy things we like to do on this channel. 40 knots, 30 knots. <laughs> and, whoa, full on spin. Well, not really. A bit of a gentle spin there. Look at the detail, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. Each building is different, as you would expect. Okay, the roads are not particularly good, but who cares? We're not staring at roads when we're flying. Oh man, it is awesome. It's absolutely incredible. All right, night lighting. Let's give this a try. That is jaw dropping. That is seriously, seriously jaw dropping. Oh, I can't actually quite believe. I'm going to have to change this preset though. Uh, broken clouds, that'll do. Okay, that's better. Look at that. Sorry, the wobbling about just really. That looks insane. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Lost for words. Really am. You imagine this in VR. Holy crap. Love the lighting. Look at the different colours. Wow. Oh, 
Okay, this is without a doubt the best scenery I've ever seen in a simulator. Oh, is that a, is that a helipad down there? Oh my word! Look at it! Just look at it! That is incredible. Okay, Orbex, hats off. This is just insane. I've never seen anything like this. This is really something incredible. Holy crap. This is the closest I've seen to real life in a simulator in terms of, uh, well, scenery, night lighting. Absolutely incredible kind of lost for words really I mean, for 12, I, I think it was, I think I paid 12 pounds or 11 pounds, something like that. I mean, incredible. I mean, it's, it's, well, it's breathtaking. And it's optimized well as well. That's the thing. Look at it. My God. All right, I am impressed. I don't know if you could guess that. Like seriously, seriously impressed. In VR, this is going to feel real. I absolutely guarantee it. Unbelievable. I have had a glass of wine tonight, but literally one and this over enthusiasm is not in any way fueled by said wine this is just I'm drunk on this view look at it it's insane right a bit of power here focus on landing now all right on the glide slope airspeed is looking good a bit windy. Quite a little bit of a crosswind here. A bit of left rudder now. about here. Damn. A little bit of power. Come on. Ooh. Blimey. Okay. We are down just about. Yeah, nasty little crosswind there. That kind of crept up on me a bit. But 
man, what a piece of scenery. Absolutely insane. The best I've seen, hands down. You win, Orbex, you've just won the World of Flight Simulation. In my opinion, let me know what you think, guys. But in terms of night lighting and just detail and performance, I don't think I've seen any better than that. It's just insane. I'm going to be truly honest here, and I hope I don't offend anyone, but Sydney was cool and the Opera House and around the harbour is really beautiful but as far as the actual city it just kind of felt like any other city really but I don't mean that in a negative way um, but this would bring me back yeah I mean I'll be honest I don't know if I'd go back to Sydney in real life I probably would I probably would anyway what I'm trying to say, I'm lost here, I don't know where I'm going. What I'm trying to say is, the city of Sydney, for me, is just kind of like any other city, with some really stunningly beautiful, unique areas, but mostly, it's just kind of like a city. I was only there four days, so, yeah, okay, we're back on track now, I think. I don't know where we are. Let's go over here with the big boys. Oh, more grass. Anyway, guys, you get the idea. I'm just kind of rambling a bit now, but wow, absolutely incredible. I love this. I'm definitely coming back to Sydney in the simulator. Who knows, maybe in real life as well. It's a beautiful city. Ignore what I was saying just then. I love it. It's amazing. I saw, uh, been into the Opera House, beautiful. I've been up the Sydney Harbour Bridge, amazing. It is a beautiful place. I'll, I'll be back there for sure. Ignore everything that I just said. But I'll definitely be back there. Oh, a nice caravan, man. I'll definitely be back in the sim. Oh, 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 oh. It's perfectly fine. Incredible. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate uh, comments and support. And yeah, good to see you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this and see you very soon. Take care.